All your tank you can watch this video on can function without Tiny Taiwan, where a little known company holds a monopoly on the chip market. But why is this country so special and why is it so important? Well, do you know that, on average, there are 178 semiconductors per person? In other words, chips. Such small things surround us throughout our lives. Gadgets, computers, cars, satellites, and solar panels. This list is endless. The point is that all these things work due to a small country. It's believed that this country is poor, something like India or Africa. But that is not the case at all. This country produces almost 90% of the chips used in military, space, transportation, and information technology. The global influence of this country is so strong that the world's giants stand ready to fight for a small island, Taiwan. Besides chips, other things are produced here. But first things first. Taiwan is considered a partially recognized state. Its area is very small compared to how many products are made here to serve the whole world. All mega corporations do business with Taiwan. Apple, Tesla, Samsung, Ford, Qualcomm, Intel, Xiao Mai, and even Huawei, until Trump's confrontation with China. But how did the whole world become dependent on a small island country? Taiwan's economy started to develop after World War II. The country's key economic activity was textile and toy making. But after the 1970s, the situation changed dramatically. Almost every home was equipped with electronics. Taiwan didn't think twice and decided to develop this industry. At that time, many bright and wealthy Chinese people fled to the island, contributing to the start of the electronics production. Thus, in 1980, UMC was established, and seven years later, TSMC. These unknown companies were steadily becoming monopolists. During 2006 to 2008, TSMC made a breakthrough into the future, creating cutting-edge chips with no analogs. Therefore, it started cooperating with Apple, becoming its reliable and only electronic supplier. This brought and continues to bring TSMC huge profits. In 2020, COVID-19 forced many companies to suspend production and wait for better times. The pandemic is over, the factories start production, and here there's a new challenge. There are no chips, and without them, the production stops again. Meanwhile, all the chips are made in Taiwan, which was simply flooded with orders from different brands at that time. TSMC lacks the capacity to cover the demand of the whole world. At that point, everyone realized that it was time to produce chips of their own. Otherwise, it could lead to a complete disaster. Let's find out who TSMC is. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company is the world's largest, independent, single-industry semiconductor manufacturing company, also known as CHIPS. It employs more than 65,000 experts producing semiconductors for a variety of equipment, from fighter planes and space rockets to the household toaster. TSMC's customers include the world's most famous technology companies, such as Apple, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. Companies choose TSMC for two reasons. First, it has the world's largest semiconductor manufacturing plant. This allows TSMC to meet any production volume, almost. Besides, they're constantly increasing their capacity. The second thing is that TSMC is constantly ahead of its competitors. It is the first company in the world to start manufacturing processors with 3, 5, and 7 nanometer process technology. Today, only Samsung is able to produce 5 nanometer chips besides TSMC. Apple is world famous for its advanced ARM processors, but only TSMC can produce them. So, the two companies have been working together for a long time, since 2008. Today, every Apple fan dreams of buying an iPhone 14 or 13. Well, these smartphones run on an A15 and A16 on 5 nanometer processors, which are made in Taiwan. Basically, Apple cannot exist without TSMC. Although TSMC won't stop collaborating with them in any case. After all, 25% of this company's revenue comes from Tim Cook and his company. 
I guess you know that phone parts are made all over the world. Then it all comes to one factory, where the smartphone that we use every day is put together. Apple has two such factories, Foxconn and Pegatron. Where are they located? Taiwan again! Foxconn is the company that assembles half of the world's iPhones. Its main feature is the low-cost mass production of specialized parts for electrical goods. If you've used Apple, Sony, Xiaomi, and Microsoft, then you can appreciate the quality of built-in components made at the Foxconn factory. In fact, it's Apple that depends on this island the most. To give you an idea of scale, Foxconn employs over 700,000 people in Taiwan alone, while Apple employs only 150,000. Just imagine the insane environment of the factory. Just to make you realize the scale, we've already made a video about it. More than 2 billion iPhones have been sold in the world, and half of them were made on a small island. Such figures evoke tremendous emotions. Processors come next. We know that many smartphones have Qualcomm processors. Reliable, powerful. We often see them in phones from Xiaomi, Huawei, etc. Forget it! It's already in the past. Since 2020, the leader in the processor market is MediaTek, a company without a factory which develops components for different areas and produces 31% of the chips for smartphones worldwide. You have probably already realized that this company is also based in Taiwan. More than half of Chinese smartphones, or to be more precise, 61% of smartphones priced under $99 use processors from this company. MediaTek created an innovative series of budget dimensity chipsets, surpassing even the legendary 800 series Snapdragon in terms of technical features. In fact, my smartphone also has a MediaTek processor, and it works flawlessly even though it's considered a budget chip. Why overpay then? Many people use a laptop or desktop computer every day. Maybe you're one with a laptop from Acer or Asus. Or maybe you have a video card or motherboard from MSI or Gigabyte. The point I'm trying to make is that all of these components are also from Taiwan. This country has the largest production of laptops, computers, and components for them. Even Nvidia orders components from Taiwan. This just means that all the companies that make smartphones, gadgets, and computers depend on a small island. This begs the question, why is there no such production in Europe and the US? The fact is that Taiwan is already far ahead in the field of electronics. The rest of the technology companies are at least 10 years behind Taiwan. For example, Samsung also produces semiconductors and recently announced a 5 nanometer chip but Taiwan's TSMC has been producing such chips for a long time. In addition, they have already presented a more powerful and smaller 3 nanometer semiconductor. US leaders are aware of their dependence on Taiwan, so they protect it from militia China and have invested more than $50 billion. But America's needs are very big, and to improve the situation, the Americans persuaded TSMC to open production in Arizona. But it will cost several times more than in the home country. The fact is that TSMC is devoted to their country and all the advanced technology will be created in the homeland. Therefore, the plant built in America will be worse and less technologically advanced compared to the one in Taiwan. Meanwhile, China, like the US, also has a plan to invest about $100 billion in chips. This is a kind of plot to win the technology war and to increase its production in the global market. Surprisingly, several TSMC factories have been operating in China for a long time. In fact, the company is in between the two fires of the global giants. Is it possible this kind of risk diversification? Speaking of electronics, we cannot but mention electric cars, specifically Tesla. The cars are created in the same way as the iPhone. That is, the parts go to the factory from all over the world. So 75% of the parts of our beloved Tesla are made in Taiwan. The same goes for Toyota, Nissan, and other car companies. Foxconn composes not only appliances, but also electric cars. They have three types 
a flagship sedan, an innovative SUV, and a bus. The announced range on a single charge is 700 kilometers. And this is a strong result, even according to the standards of more famous brands. There are many different enterprises in Taiwan, but the main ones are companies that make semiconductors, computers, and electronics assembly. They make more money and create more jobs. Thanks to the development of the technology industry, Taiwan ranks 19th in the world in terms of GDP. It's ahead of the Netherlands, the United Arab Emirates, Switzerland, and Israel. Over the past 30 years, Taiwan's GDP has grown by about 8% a year. It's because of this island that you can watch this video. However, this is just a piece of the basic information. See the key facts and secrets of Taiwan right now in the video you see on the screen.